that he's gone, he's gone. And when I'm troubled, the thought of you rage in my heart. Holding your hands is just enough for me to feel when my friends whisper, say, whisper, say. Is that his girl? He's gone. And when I'm troubled, the thought of you rage in my heart. Holding your hand is just enough for me. Just enough for me. I hurry to sleep knowing you belong within me. I say, uh, exposed me to a lot of things I needed to know about business management. That's a plus, you know. <laughs> That's really and it's pleasant to our plans. Um, now let me ask you, uh, how do you intend to take off? Oh, well, Dad, I think I wouldn't have much to do staying out. I believe if the job is made ready for me, then I should jump to it. That's good. That's my son. In view of your prayer plans, uh, I've made concrete arrangements for that. Yes. Um, here. It's a duplex. I look at that at uh, Johnson Street. It is quiet. 
is very comfortable. It is precious. In fact, you will like it. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad, thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. That's okay, son. That's okay. And, um, this is a key for a crunchy jeep for you to start a smooth running of the glass company. I've made all necessary arrangements and uh, you have been approved to be the general manager by my company's board of directors. Oh, Dad. Come on, Dad. But Dad, aren't you making it so easy for me? Oh, no. 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 I've always wanted to give you the necessary incentives and logistics to excel. Uh, I always know that you have much to offer. Thank you, Dad. At least for this confidence. I promise I will never fail you, Dad. I'll put in my very best so that everyone will have the cause to extol the decisions you've already made about me in that company, okay? That's my son. That's my real son. Um, but one more thing. I don't know how you intend to search for your life partner. Or I don't know whether you have anybody in mind. Or do you want your mom and I to help? You see, since you've been out for a very long time now, you might not know the in thing in town as regards to girls and their marriages. You see, Dad, I still want you to repose the same confidence you had in me. Believing that I can do things, I mean, I can get things right by myself without anybody's help. Not excluding yours because it's always imperative. Mm -hmm. That's very good. I'm so happy to hear that. I okay. think it's getting late. I have to go to bed. Okay. So let me go in and have some rest. You're not eating anything. I'm okay with this. And besides, I'm in a hurry. Okay, that's fine. Mom, you know that this is a restaurant by excellence. I mean, I never knew there could be an issue center that is run by an individual which could meet the standard of the so called first class cafeteria. You see, Madam Tesha has a way of running things in here. See, the meals are common. You can see it yourself. Test it. And what is happening here now? Sir, please take it easy. I'm coming. Give me a water for goodness sake. Uh -uh. My brother, please don't be angry. Eh? The waiters are busy with a few things inside. Oh, oh, Just calm down. Oh, well, so you mean like, you said away there? No. I don't wait. I'm uh, honey, I think I should be on my way now. Not on. Here. Just give me a shot. Alright, I'll see you. Alright. Yeah. No, no. I didn't say you should wait. I said exercise a little patience. Oh? Ifo Nanya! Get him water to drink now. And do you know why I always come here? No, what is that? Beautiful girls are always here. Just check out that girl. You need that girl sitting with that man? Forget that girl. I wouldn't mind if I go for her. Chick, me, will you stop this? Where, sir? Come down now. Eh? I want to get in four. 
I didn't have the chance to tell anyone. No, 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 Human. He said, pig, you should give me my money. Oh, no. You know if not for these people, you won't be here today. You know that. You say, pig. God. Let him go to the God. Why are you talking to me, pig? Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? Excuse me, young man. Excuse me. How much is your money? I'm not going to have 15 naira. I'm married. Eh? My brother. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. In this country, dry dry for that matter. 250 naira. Waiter. Makangwa, onye ti ego kweregi Kija choi me bumwagi yo Madam Tension, ni hoja di ni mamoli e Ewo, ewo Please sir, thank you sir Madam, give me your change now Which change? My change? I'll give you the change now Thank you my change again I love her sense of understanding and belonging. You mean that girl? Yes, that is Madame Tesha's daughter. Don't tell me you're beginning to vote for her just because she applied her already skills. Do you call do you, do you that already skills? Girls. No, no, no. That is called mannerism. That's a real, a pure bred mannerism. That's what it is. You, you know what? I think I need to know more about her, okay? Ah, uh-huh. you call, call it up. Free eyes, sure. I'll do that. That apart, I'm Duke. Can you tell me anything about that girl? What, what, what do you know about that girl that we met at the restaurant? I mean, I heard you saying that she, that she's the daughter of the woman that owns the restaurant. Of course, she's the woman's daughter, and I learned she's in the campus as well. Uh, come on, what's even so special about the girl? Come on, that you won't let a second go by without mentioning her name again, and again since we left that cafe. Can't you see that girl is only? Ah, only. What am I even doing with guest homeliness? Look, all these guests are the same. What's money involved? <laughs> madam, the madam. So, how is business? Well, as you can see, we are managing. Oh, to fear what? Management can never be the portion of someone whom she person will have a daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chief. Don't you have my daughter's consent already? No, oh, but I don't seem to see it from, the, from that angle. Especially the way she behaved towards me. Can you imagine that I called her not less than 20 times yesterday? Huh? She picked none of my calls. Today gave the same thing. Oh. So how can I believe that she, she has accepted my proposal? Oh. This girl and this girl. Oh, man, man. Anyway, Chief, don't worry. Okay. Things will soon change for better. Oh? Trust me now, Madam High Tension. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember my daughter. Okay. I should know the better part of her. And that part is that she loves you so much. She's only shy to express her feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know now. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, 
wouldn't she have just rushed out, hug you, kiss you, to welcome you? <laughs> oh, ho, can't you imagine that? <laughs> oh, no, 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 she don't worry. It's only shyness. Eh? Okay. My mommy is shy, but she loves you so much. Just go ahead and prepare your wedding. Eh? I'm sure Obumi will never disappoint you. Oh? Okay. Well, I believe you. You see, all I need to know is to probably know a stand so that I should know before I go ahead for the payment for the land for your shop's permanent site. Hey! Chief! 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 Chief of all Chief! No, that's me. That's me. That's me. Oh, just go ahead. Go ahead and do the payment. Okay. Eh? okay. Do the payment, eh? Uh, no, this point. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you're you very welcome. much. Thank uh, you, Chief. Here is 20,000 naira. Give it to my album. Oh, Chief, aren't you so nice? <laughs> you. Uh, it's nothing compared to what I have in plan for her, you know? I know. That, that, you both of you will enjoy me. I know. Uh, and the thanks is not necessary. <laughs> After all, the money is not mine for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Yeah. Thank you very so much. So I have to be going now. It's you know. okay, Chief. See you so much. Madam, take some bingo, we want and they go on the way. And you go and dig in my body. Emelu mala, ye ti ge le ge me. Oh, don't say you're not happy because of money. Oh, happy ya ko soro love ya. Please call me again tomorrow. I won't name me. Hi. After all, you're my asset. Yeah. Hello? Tracy? Sorry. Have we met? Oh, I gave you my card in that restaurant. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, what's that your name, please? <laughs> Tracy. Okay, um... All right, no problem. Since it's weekend, uh, why don't we just find somewhere to hang out, you know, somewhere cozy in town? Let's spend some time together, get to know ourselves. What do you think? My house? Oh, quite close. For a luxury residence. Yes. Okay, fine, no problem. Let's pick a car and tell them Duke's house. And get there. Yes. All right, fine, take care. Bye. Who was that? Uh, the girl I saw in the restaurant with that Jew man over there. She called you? Of course, why won't she? After I gave her my card. By the time she will see my card and know the kind of business I do. You know, come on, I'm not a pauper. No, 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 nobody's saying you're a pauper. It's just that I'm beginning, I'm, I'm wondering the, 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 the level, level of responsibility of such a girl. She just met you at the first, first meeting. Will I even call that meeting? Come on. She's already calling you. Oh, come on, this is Nigeria. Come on, where you do that cash and she starts happening? Hey. Welcome, Mommy. Thank you, my dear. Mommy, you left the shop without telling me why. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Daniela called me to say that um, one of our lecturers fixed the test for Monday, so I had to get some notes for the test. That's all right. All the same, you should have told me. Yeah, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Please. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Chief Benson gave it to me, he said I should give it to you. What? Chief Benson? Mommy, why, why do you keep doing this to me now? Why now? Eh? How many times do I have to tell you that you should not collect anything from that man on, on my behalf? You keep quiet and shut up. Who are you to order me on what to do? I am not asking you on what to do or, or not what to do. I am not asking you on what you should do or, or collect on my behalf. Will you shut up and you now get Shut your mouth up! Now keep that one. 
Marry him. I've made up my mind. I said, keep this to your mouth shut for once and sit down there. Don't let me lose my anger on you. I will just descend on you this hour. For your information, you have to try and come back early on Thursday because the person is coming here to talk with you. Over my dead body. God forbid, I will not sit here and talk to that useless old man. I will not. I will not sit here. Will you just sit down here. Then so you eat this over your dead body. Just prepare to die. Because he will surely come. And you must definitely sit down and talk with him. Even if you choose to die, I will arrange your corpse on a chair so that she best will come and sit down and talk with it. I don't want to marry. I don't want to marry. Why don't you go ahead and bring the husband for us to see? We think it is easy. Don't you know that men have cursed these days? Don't you know? What's the meaning of this? I can't wait. Mommy, you are just wasting your time. You are wasting your time because I will not marry me. You are wasting your time. I will not marry me. John Brandy, Senator, <laughs> President, <laughs> Red Wine. No, 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 no. I don't need any of them. I'm okay. Are Thank you sure? Yeah, fine. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, baby, tell me more about yourself. I thought we've talked about that earlier. No, don't worry, just for Kelsey's sake. You know? Okay. Well, I'm a year two student in the Department of Psychology, last mm. Wow. I stay here in Lagos with my cousin who works with FX Bank. FX Bank? Yeah. So, how come about the guy in that restaurant? The guy in the restaurant? Oh! Yeah. He's just a friend. Okay. Actually, he's a brother to my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And he's been all over me asking for a date. So I just had to oblige him. Well, that's very courteous of you. Well, um, I don't know. That's very kind of you. Okay. What do you like to do? Take a shower, eat. What do you want? Um, uh, I think I'll start with a shower. Oh, shower. Alright, um, I'm walking Thank you. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. Which way? Just walk straight. Oh, Yeah, that's the house. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. She goes to school most times from this place. And she sleeps at school. At times in her friend's house. Am I right, Polly? Yes, you're right, sir. Polly, are you sure this is her house? Yes, sir. Um, uh, did you confirm if she will be going to school from this house anytime this week? Or whether she will be petting in her friend's house, like you said? No, sir, I didn't confirm, sir. This is the house. There's no problem. Alright. Molly? Okay, let's go. Move on. My mama, I need real love. Real love portions durability. What durability are you talking about? Am I buying a car or buying a house? That will be searching for durability. Look, my friends, the only sweetness in our relationship is when the passion and emotions are being carried out of time. See, didn't the Bible say that there is time for everything? A time to start a relationship and a time to end it. Time to love and a time to hate. Listen, but that is not ideal for any marriage purpose. You know that? Yeah, it's coming. 
Hi, darling. Hi, Douglas. 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 And it was, you know, moving from one lecture hall to the other, going round with the hot sun. Oh, I'm so sorry. terrible. I'm, sorry. I'm fucked out. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. Just go inside and take a shower, okay? Maybe I'm so hungry. Oh, there's something in the kitchen. I can get you something outside, okay? Alright. Okay. I'm waiting for you. Alright. Okay. So it's now. It's not Vanessa. Me. Vanessa that you just introduced to me has now become an old issue. Well, like I was saying, you know, everything must always come with choice, time. When there is time to jet, to jet, and when there is time to make a new friend, we do that with just a flash of our cash. <laughs> Duke, I think you need reorientation. I think it's you that need that because she refuses to understand that there is foolishness and that you are really loving Bojama. I think I'm getting a little bit disappointed in you. Well, um, I will agree with you if you show me the way to your toilet. Okay, please don't remain on my sitting room. You know my toilet. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, up on right? Yes. My name is Douglas. Yes. How may I help you? Uh, well, actually, I would have wanted us to talk over a range of issues. But I can see that you are up for lectures already. I don't want to take your time. I think I would rather we'll meet a second time, okay? Is there any problem? <laughs> no, there's no problem. Okay. Um... I am already late for lectures, so I have to get going now. Oh, uh, well, in that case, why not give me your number so I can call you and you know, we'll talk for some other time? Okay, um, oh, it's all. Uh huh. 33 three. 241 seven, zero, zero. 241700, right? Yes. What are you giving me? Um, how much was that? 40,000 naira. 40,000. For my school fees and house rent. Alright. Alright, um, this is 500 dollars. Take it, pay your school fees, your house rent, and any other thing you need, okay? with you. Um, you know, it couldn't have come that easy from so many so many other girls, you know. Or well, like I said, um, my name is Douglas. Um, I'm a personal secretary to the general manager of Globis Glass Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary of Pentium Group of Companies. Okay. Um, well, uh, I read business management. Thank you. I would like to know a bit about you. 
Well, um, my name is Obum Neme. I'm a student of accountancy department at the State University and my third year. Oh, that's interesting. So tell me, um, how do you combine your studies with your mother's cafeteria business? You know about my mother's cafeteria? Yes, of course. Father was what bred my interest in you. Really? Yeah. I was there on that fateful day when you resolved an issue between your mom and her customer. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. right. You see, you, you know what? Let me tell you something. I must confess. I was impressed. You know, I never knew there are girls with sterling qualities as she is beaten on that day. That still exist in this part of the world. Oh, please, please, don't flatter me. I didn't do anything so exceptional. I mean, anybody could have done that. Besides, I remember you did something exceptional to solve the problem, too. Forget about that. I, I was just trying to, you know, save the dignity of my fellow man. That was all. All the same, that was really, really nice. I mean, you were not the only man there. There were so many people there, and you chose to do that. That was nice. You know, you continually co collaborate my impression of you. And what's that? That you are outstanding, you are exceptional, you are genuine, you are just lovely. Yeah, you are lovely, to be frank. You see, you see, Madam Tension. Huh? This is exactly what I've been complaining about, and you keep telling me there's no cause for alarm. Now, alarm is blown from all angles of this whole arrangement. Oh, Jesus. calm down now, eh? calm down. How, how do I calm down? How do I calm down, Madam Tension? How exactly do I calm down? You said she was aware of this meeting. How come she's not here? Is this not a clear sign of lack of interest? Lack of interest. No, Chief, eh? Look, my daughter has interest in this whole arrangement. It's just that... Don't say your daughter maybe, because of money. Like she has always complained that they are busy end of the time. And you expect me to believe that? How about her days? Does she have quizzes on those days as well? Calm down now, Chief, eh? Calm down. Look, Abu Namek is my daughter. I know her very well. So you are saying there's no other man in her life, huh? Chief, no. Another man in her life? Come on, Chief. I hope you are not trying to assume that my daughter is a flat. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. It's just that, uh, uh, you see? Sunday, yeah, that's all right. Sunday is just ideal. At least let us enjoy the peace and comfort of my home instead of coming out here to discuss important issues. You know, I've always told you that my daughter is a very shy person. <laughs> Madam Tension, he not a dig in my molly. Oh, 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 rapping on a yak or a gunny room. It's a little big away, so Thank you for honoring my day. I'm so happy. 
Me too. Okay. Um, let it be as we discussed, okay? I'll see you at my office. Tomorrow. Remember, yeah. 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 All right, take care of yourself, okay? Bye. All right. from school, mommy. Liar. Shameless liar. Which school are you coming back from by this time of the night? Which school are you me? Mommy, what is it now? What, what have I done again? What is what? Eh? What is what? Shameless liar. I can see you are bent on kicking against she best in marrying you. Okay? Eh, you me? The other day I told you to come back early that you want to come and talk with you. You paid deaf ears. Is it not so? Look, mommy, it is only you that knows what is between you and that old fool. As for me, no sacrament binds us. There is no business between a bird and a toothbrush. Period. Okay. Oh, nah, is that your own period? I will never let you be your period. I My own period will soon come. You will see it with your eyes. My own period. Oh gosh. My attention is not digging my money. Period. You will see my period. work. Oh, as you can see, we're doing it. Hmm. I hope I'm not disturbing or interrupting anything. I mean, I usually don't like visiting people during office hours, you know. Well, that's a reasonable principle. Well, since you're in it, I mean, how do you see our office and the people there in? Well, the office complex is nice, you know, and the few people I've met are very accommodating and nice, too. Especially your receptionist, she's very nice. That's interesting. So when next you come, I'll introduce you to my boss, okay? Okay. Hey, you must to me for a moment. What's making you happy? 
Yes, my bro, I ought to be. I'm making progress. Oh, that's good. Mm, yeah. You know, um, things are moving so fast. Just that um, I'm a bit skeptic about letting her know my real person so that whatever love she has for me can be proven as authentic. What authentic are you talking about? What authentic bullshit? You mean she doesn't know your Chibasi son? The almighty Chibasi? Or she hasn't come and sat and felt the elegance of this house? Or your unquenchable thrill of your class? Huh? Not at all, bro. Not at all? Yeah. Well, that's not a plus. Because her mother will definitely pose a stumbling block on your way. Bro, come on. What's, what's your own? I mean, why are you so being undecisive? I'm even with my moves and I expect you to encourage me. Huh? Not to taunt me or even demoralize me. Listen, I choose to discourage you, to let you know the truth. Than to encourage or uh, moralize you about a far-fetched white lies. And the matter of plain realities. Look, do that to your mommy and win girls, as many as you want. Take me, for instance. Could you believe that despite what I did to Vanessa, she's still begging me to visit me every time she's crying? Do you know what? Both of us are not on the same frequency, bro. What you talk is promiscuity, but what I talk is just love. Oh, what you talk is love. That is it. All right. Seriously, Daniela, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I'm so excited. You don't know how you feel. For who? That thing? <sighs> Come on, Daniela. You mustn't choose insulting words on him, you know. He's such a nice man. You need to feel his sense of um, human compassion. What stupid sense of human compassion? I beg, go, go, go. By the way, how is your mom taking it? Ah, I don't know. I've not been able to tell her. In fact, I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, wait, let me get my bag. Come in, okay? Okay. Wait. Till. Let's go. Okay. Amina, where do you think you are going to? Oh, I want to dance tonight. Come on, will you sit down here? Go to your ticket stand. Sit down here, Biko. What is the meaning of this now? Huh? Why are you embarrassing me in the presence of my friend? Will you shut up? Oh, I'm embarrassing you, eh? I'm embarrassing your woman. I'm embarrassing you. Sit down there. Keep your mouth shut. Why are, you, why are you doing this? Why, why, what is the meaning of this now? Eh? Is it because of that, that useless and, and hopeless old man? That... Yes, it is because of him. And because of him, I will even do more if you don't keep it so much short. I, I don't like it. I have to go to where I'm going to. Mommy, mommy, leave me. I don't like it. Though. <laughs> so it has gotten to this, mommy, mommy. It has gotten to this, eh? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Did you see your friend? Someone up all this shit in her and push me down on the floor in my own husband's house. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Is that a chief blessing or you say with me in this house? God forbid. God, I reject this in Jesus' name. Come on, let's get out of this place. No, 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 no. Don't tell me to take anything easy. Okay. okay. You need to go and come back and meet me in this house. I work for you. You believe me? Oh, gosh. Believe me. No, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, she's your mother. You should have seen what she did to me. I know, I know I shouldn't have done it, but she really pissed me off. Can you imagine my mother pulling me all around the room like I'm some five-year-old or something? Right in presence of Daniela here. She can testify to it. I'll just it. I told her severally that whatever arrangements she's making with anybody, maybe it's um, Chief Benson or whoever, she should just keep me out of it. But she won't listen. See, like I said, she deserved your un unresolved apology. I mean, you should go back home tonight and apologize to her. Okay. Anyway, um, I think I have to get going now. 
You know, if I get home late, it's it's problem for me if I get home late again. What? Don't you finish your food? I'm not stuck with it. I can't even eat anymore. It's your friend, baby. Baby, with you. Daniela, are you coming with me or? Oh, no, no. Daniela is not going with you tonight. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dude, um, I want to use your car and your driver. No problem. Alright, Mr. I'm sorry now. I've been begging you since. I'm sorry. Oh, leave me alone. You know I'm still your daughter. Eh? Okay, I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again. I will never try it again. Oh, I'm sorry now. I've been begging you since now. I'm still your daughter. You are still my daughter. Yes, no. Are you sure? <laughs> Please forgive me. It is no longer a matter of uh, being sorry or not. Because you have just destroyed everything I have worked for in trying to know that man, Chief Benson. Huh? This is the particular month he says he's going to start work on the new site for the restaurant. Now see what you have done. Eh? He was here 5 o'clock on the dot. Just to see you. And he waited till 8 o'clock. For you to see how displeased you have made him. Even the land he bought for me, he refused to give me the papers because of this incident. Mommy, mm -hmm. you know I can do anything for you. Anything within my power, I'm ready to do it. But this one, I cannot do it though. I cannot. I cannot marry a man that is few inches away from his grave simply because he has money. I cannot. So, so what is the essence of this apology now? What is the essence? Nonsense. You have come to apologize. Apologize for what? I was saying sorry for what happened between us before I went out now. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Same to me. Exactly, is this someday going to be? Is it when she has completely drained me of all vigor that she will understand? See, I understand that your mother is this kind of woman who is so concerned about her daughter's marital future. That's it. Marital future, my mother. <laughs> my mother is only concerned with the material gains she's getting from that chip In fact, she does. That's the only thing that interests my mother as far as she's concerned. That uh, land that that man has promised to give her for her restaurant lab, uh, land complex. That is all. Mm. Oh, see. Um, <laughs> did you just say that she's in dead need of a land which she wants that man to acquire for her? Yes. The man has promised to give her a land that she, she will use to build her permanent um, restaurant complex. In fact, she doesn't even have the money to build it. It is still this same man she's hoping on to build it for her. Imagine trading me in for her material gains. Oh, that's very awful. Very, very awful. Um, I think I need to see your mother for this. See my mother? Mm. Why would you want to do that? Uh, you know, uh, I have a friend who is into land speculation. And I think I can help your mother through him by, you know, telling him, asking him to sell the land to your mother at a very cheap rate, which your mother can pay for like over 20 years. You understand? Based on initial value. Uh, what I mean is this. Um, she doesn't need to pay any other money. No other money should be added to it as a result of maybe changing value or time. Do you understand me? Are you sure? Ah, of course I'm sure. In fact, um, I think I can call him so that he, he will go with us to your mother's house. No, no. I think we should see my mother first. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let me get you something. Is your friend? Yes, he's my friend. 
and he wants to talk to me about land acquisition. Yes, actually, a friend of his deals in land speculation and they are very close. So I spoke to him about helping us get a land for the complex and he accepted. He accepted to give us land based on what? Free of charge? No, no. He has agreed to give us grace of 10 years so that we can pay instrumentally. <laughs> Wash. Anyway, go and tell him that uh, I'll see him later. the man I told you about, Douglas. Mm. Mm. I, I actually, um, Obum told me that you needed a land area for your restaurant complex. So I decided to come and see you. To come and see me? Yeah. On what basis? Do you have land for sale? Uh, not really. Uh, actually, I discussed with a friend of mine who is into land speculation and he agreed to sell his land at a very cheap rate. And not only that, he even accepted that you can pay instrumentally at a spanning period of over 15 years mm -hmm. and thereabouts. Yeah. What do you do for a living, young man? Myself? Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, I. I am the personal secretary to the general manager of Clobis Class Industries, Nigeria Limited. <laughs> what is your relationship with my daughter? Mom, what? Will you shut up? Young man, answer my question. Hmm? What is your relationship with my daughter? Oh, God. we are friends. Oh, friends? Yeah. Ordinary secretary? File arrangement desk. Oh, what, what is the meaning of this now? Shut up! Shut your mouth and keep quiet! You should be hiding your face in shame. So, this is the paper that has been deceiving you against Chief's proposal. This one. Huh? Uh, excuse me, madam. Um, I think you're getting everything wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. shut up. I said shut up! And listen to me. Or I will show you why they call me Madam High Tension. Oh, cool. Now listen and listen good. If you don't stop you should, deceiving and uh, distressing my daughter, huh, today that you saw me for the first time will be the most horrible day in your life. Now get out! Mommy, what? what, what Shut up! Let's get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! this to me now! Hey, hey, hey! hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you step your feet out of this house, be sure never to step them back into this house! Okay! I'm gonna shoot! I'm gonna shoot! Enough respect for you? Tell me, isn't it? 
think you're beginning to be always there. You can call it whatever you like. But remember, he who wants to eat vegetable, always pray for a good rest. Okay, you want to be seen as simple and humble, then get ready to be seen as simplicity and arrogance. Okay? You know what? You know what is new? No. That our insult has just motivated me. Excuse me. Hey, bros, don't leave me alone. You know your house is boring. Look, Douglas, to me, your boom should have had no part in your fool. It wasn't her fault. And she never supported her mother. Did she? This one, you, I mean, suddenly concerned about my relationship. I thought you never supported me. Yeah, I'm concerned about you. You're being torn up about your decision. You wish you never said a word. And it's killing you, it's affecting you. Duke. I've been embarrassed. I've been insulted. The, the first, you won't just not by her, by her mother. Just because you refuse to show a good presentation about yourself. That's all. Forget it. Forget what I want. It's time to reconcile with Obum. Let them know your identity. Let them know who you are. In doing that, there will be a mutual respect for you. Can't you understand? You're sounding reasonable for the first time. But still. Will not stop on the other part that depicts your love. I mean, you push it for money. Oh, you should know that money is all my friend. Manifest before love. Okay? You said a good thing, but the issue of me showing off myself. No. Look, I won't do that. So, what about reconciliation? What happened the other day? Oh, uh, yes, uh, because I mean, it's one of those things that love brings for a man, so. You're such a fabulous man, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, your sense of understanding is so unbelievable. I feel flattered. You shouldn't be. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Mm. Mm. That's love. Look! Yeah, man. Ah. Yeah, ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Daniela. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me let's go. Hello? Yes, um, Mr. Boone is here to see you. And I've already told her you're here. For me, yeah, in somebody else's office. Oh, um, I think I have this understanding with my boss, so he wouldn't mind. I mean, 
Tom. Well, I really don't think you should bother yourself about what to offer me because right now I don't really think I need drinks. I think I need food. Oh, in that case, let's go out for lunch. No, I'm not stressing that I'm hungry. I'm just saying that I don't want you to bother yourself at all. Okay, okay, I am hungry. And I want you to accompany me. If you do that, I think I'll, I'll be just fine. Okay, yes, yes. All right. Okay. now is my attitude. It's not whatever plan my mother has to, to, to destroy our relationship that should matter to you. I think with all pleasure, I think I've had you. Could you please not leave my office? Could you please leave my office and leave me? Give me some time to think, please. Is that what you really want? Yes, ma'am. That's what I want to know. Can you believe that my mother, my mother actually ordered the pounder to throw Douglas out of the shop? It was horrible. Can you just imagine the shame, the humiliation in front of so many people and that pig almost did? Don't worry, just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm wondering, how did Douglas take it? Douglas. <laughs> Look, I don't even want to concern myself with how he took it because anybody would react the way he did. It was too much. What, what is even bothering me now is how I'm going to go to Douglas now and beg him and just ask him to forgive me. That is my problem now. Don't worry. What we'll do is this. I'll talk to Duke. So, you know, he could talk to him about it. Duke? Mm -hmm. Do you trust him? Oh, yes. You know, considering the fact that he's Douglas's bosom friend, it's only natural that he'll listen to him. <laughs> Are you sure he's not going to push this whole thing overboard? No, no. He won't. I think... Don't worry. Just calm down, eh? Don't worry. Just take your drink. Drink. Everything. Okay? Thank you. Is so? Let's talk of better things now. So, why is everything? What's happening apart from your mom or her? Why don't you just open up to me and tell me what happened? That is not necessary. I mean, what, what is my son is that I don't want to see your bum as it is now. So in case she comes to your house, ask her after me, tell her that you don't know. <laughs> this sounds more like a joke to me. Is it not the same bum that you're praising like God? 
According to you, her humbleness is second to none. What crime could she have committed? I can see it's like you are one of those that got lost moods. So you can keep talking. But unfortunately, I'm not in the mood to talk. I believe you get that message. Yes, I do. But besides, it has always been my pinchan to see you shake off this year love cancer Sunday. If this is going to be a stop towards that, I don't have anything to say, rather. Thanks be to God on high and peace to us on earth who are his friends. Okay. I think I should be on my way. Because I can see that you're beginning to visit like a Well, I can still guide you in case if you lost your senses.